Practice has been going uh, very well. I think we're at the point where we really need to get out on the competition floor. Normally, we would have probably competed uh, two weeks ago. We had a team bail on us, so we had a dead weekend. That's why we did a practice meet. The practice meet we held was very, very good. Now we've got to get out on the floor and just get seen by real judges. So I think the athletes, the coaches, we're all really excited to get this, uh, this meet under our belt. Coach, the fact that you lost that one meet, that you had the practice meet, what, I guess how does that change your strategy in terms of preparing? Even though it's just a practice meet, is there a big difference from that to what you're going to go into? You know, the way we ran the practice meet was we did it as if we were the away team. So we ran the rotations backwards and things like that. And it was actually, I think, very beneficial for us. It gave us a chance to put a little more pressure on the athletes in a different environment than the practice gym. And it helped to get us a little bit sharper to compete because we're kind of behind on starting competition. And we're also, we've lost some of our events. We are uh, contests. We only have nine competitions this year, whereas in a normal season, we would have 11 or 12. So the practice meet was very helpful. Hopefully we won't have all the first meet jitters that we would normally have this weekend. And we can go out and try to pull off a score that will be helpful for us and start us uh, start the season off on the right foot. What do you know about Bowling Green? What do I know about Bowling Green? We met them, I believe, twice last year. They're a solid uh, mid, mid-pack mid Division I program. They've scored 192 and 193.5 so far this season, so they have competed two weeks already in a row. So they kind of have had a chance to get all those pre-meet jitters out, so I think they're going to be kind of getting on their game, and uh, they'll be a tough component opponent. As for the facility, it's one place that in 36 years of coaching I've never been, so I really don't know what we're going to find when we get there. I've never been to Bowling Green. So I guess, Nikki, just tell us about your emotions finally getting into competition. I'm super excited to get out there on the floor and compete. It's it's different because we missed our uh, usual first meet, but it's going to be fun to go out there and just be with the team and be out on the floor and know that we had that extra weekend to prepare for this meet, it, it's almost a relief. Like We don't have the pressure of having to do better than the last meet. We're just going out there and having a fresh start. How do you feel about the status of the team? Where you guys are performing, the personnel? I, I feel good about it. Um, the coaches did a really good job at picking our lineup for this meet, and I think everyone's been working really hard in the gym and ready to get out there and show what we can do. How about your personal goals? My personal goals are um, to go out there and just hit my events and really support the girls, especially the freshmen, where it's their first time out on the floor, um, and just be able to guide them through that. So. Has it been kind of frustrating, the fact that you've had to wait two weeks then from what you thought to finally get out on the floor and show what you can do? Yeah, it's, it's been a little frustrating, but at the same time, we knew um, going into it that we had that extra week to prepare. So having the mock meet, yes, it was really beneficial, but at the same time, it was like, okay, let's get out there, let's go.